We now have body cam video of Molotov cocktails being thrown at Raleigh police in early May. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. That incident led officers to shooting and killing that suspect. CBS 17 Steve Sprecia has been uh, reviewing this video for us throughout the day and kind of walks us through what we're seeing here. Well, the incident began to unfold at a police substation on Rock Quarry Road back on May 7th when Ruel Nunez began tossing Molotov cocktails at parked police cruisers. Surveillance video captures the initial incident which led to multiple cruisers being set on fire. You can see a silver van that Nunez unloaded which carried a red container and multiple cups which he's placed on the ground. Don't he's accused of throwing flammable liquid at cruisers. He's also accused of throwing Molotov cocktails at officers. A responding cruiser had three cups of flaming liquid thrown at it. The officer calls for assistance. I got a subject throwing stuff at me. He set the car on fire. I got a 1090 sub, 1096 subject in the van. He's throwing an object at my patrol car and he set a patrol car on fire. Don't do any more. We've removed the rest of the audio from the body cam footage because it's filled with obscenities from Nunez, who was responding to officers who repeatedly told him not to do it and to drop it. At one point, Nunez can be heard saying, today is my day to move on. At that point, he throws another Molotov cocktail at officers. As police advance, Nunez can be heard saying, go ahead, expletive, do it, do it. When he lights another Molotov cocktail, the officers fire. Preliminary ballistic results indicate that 30 rounds were fired. Nunez was taken to the hospital where he later died from his wounds. Now, after that incident at the police station, detectives backtracked Nunez's activities, and they say that his van and his description match those of somebody who tried to set fire to gas pumps the previous night at a convenience store on Capitol Boulevard. From the newsroom, I'm Steve Sprager, CBS 17 News. And we have that video as well. You can find that on CBS17.com. Steve, thank you.